I'm Stephanie McKendry, an Academic Development Tutor in the Learning Development Centre in the School of Health and Life Sciences. This short vidcast will talk you through the assessment process of the Sign Off Mentor Preparation Programme. In short, the process consists of three assessment experiences. You must successfully complete all three before you can become a Sign Off Mentor. Each experience must be successfully completed before you move to the next. They consist of an online test, a simulation scenario and, finally, under supervision from a current sign-off mentor, the mentoring of a final placement student. The first experience consists of an online assessment of the theoretical sign-off principles. It has been designed to test knowledge of sign-off mentorship as identified by the NMC. The online assessment will help to identify strengths and areas for improvement which can be fed forward for development in advance of sign-off experience too. The test is divided into six themes and candidates must answer five multiple choice questions from each. In order to pass each of the six themes, you must obtain a pass mark of 40%. So that means you have to get at least two out of five questions correct in each section. You have three opportunities to resit and you only need to retake the themes you've failed. If you have still not completed all six sections after your ESA attempts, please contact the course leader to discuss your progress. The blended learning simulation will be used to provide scenarios based on real-life sign-off mentor end-of-programme practice situations and concerns. Student sign-off mentors will choose one scenario for exploration within the context of sign-off mentorship. Students are asked to write a response to the scenario in the form of a narrative. Basically, what would you have done? Successful completion is required before proceeding to the third sign-off experience. The third experience takes place in practice. The student sign-off mentor will be supervised supporting the learning and assessment of an actual end-of-programme student under the supervision of a sign-off mentor. When in practice undertaking the third experience, Student sign-off mentors are expected to fully engage with supporting the end-of-programme student under supervision, including the signing off of proficiencies. Confirmation that this has taken place and has been successfully completed will be verified by the supervising sign-off mentor. Following this final experience, the mentorship team will review the student sign-off mentor's profile to confirm all three experiences are complete before confirming attainment of sign-off status. An annotation will then be made to the live register. It is only after receiving official confirmation of all of this that a student can begin undertaking unsupervised sign-off mentoring.